amazing machine, amazing machine, amazing machine, etc., etc., amazing machine. I'm going to keep saying that and saying that. Uh, I had this dude, I'm not going to mention the names or anything like that, but I had this dude who told me that, hey, uh, why I should not be calling, um, I should not be calling uh, cars machines. Why am I calling them machines and all that, all right? So let me explain, man. Uh, if you don't understand that what the definition of the word machine is, then you need to find out because machine is basically anything that's mechanical, anything that's moving, right? That's producing the energy, the motion. So it can be anything, it can be sawing machine, it can be washer, it can be um, any type of machine or device that's moving, has a mechanical motion, so as cars. All right, so let me explain this. Let me tell you this. So. Like just because you told me that, hey, uh, you know, I should be, uh, I should not be calling these cars machines, right? That is not true. I'm gonna be uh, calling them amazing machines all the time. That's never gonna change on my channel because these amazing machines, they are amazing machines because they were built with love, quality, and everything. And I'm referring to old school Mercedes, old school BMWs, old school Volkswagens, anything of that nature. Uh, if you don't like. Um, you know how I speak or talk on this channel hey man that's fine you know haters are gonna hate I don't care you know it's at the end of the day we're still gonna be growing and I can't wait to have my channel really popular so like the rest of the world can find out about my channel and what we do here at Vito's Garage so for those of you who really support me thank you so much that really means a lot I'm gonna keep on going I'm gonna keep saving these amazing machines and yeah guys today is gonna be another day i'm about to tell you about that now and um yeah i'm just super excited like i said you know if you are if you have a youtube channel yourself or anything that nature social media and you have you keep seeing haters coming your way hey that's fine you know you just smile at them you know because that will make them even more angry so yeah amazing machines that they, they are and today we're gonna go and save and actually work on this w124 black on black so i'm super excited about that hey guys welcome back to videos garage thanks so much for watching and tuning in and today is probably going to be the last video of this 1991 Mercedes W124 300E black on black. I'm actually going to Jason's place right now, which is about two and a half hours away, as you guys know if you've seen my previous videos. But today, um, the reason why I'm saying that it's uh, one of the last videos is because I actually have to go back to uh, Washington soon. So yeah, today is actually the day that I'm gonna sacrifice for that car once again. So. Uh, Jason has been working on it a lot lately and he's been doing a bunch of stuff and cleaning that car actually and putting a lot of love to it so you know I got some actually goodies with me that I'm gonna bring him so I can't wait to actually go there and see him and just hang out and work on that car so yeah and in the future I'm gonna actually keep you posted that car is actually really close to being back on the road and back on its legs Jason just needs a uh, you know a little bit of time to you know gather up all the uh, funding and everything to finish up this car make it amazing again but that amazing machine is so amazing like I'm super proud of the owner and I can't wait to actually like see that car and him driving that car on the road and just uh, breaking necks Just look at this beautiful, beautiful, amazing view. It's insane. I'm actually like in Northern California now. Uh, so yeah, you see a lot of this stuff here, especially like, you know, on the border between California and Oregon, you'll see a lot of green stuff, a lot of beautiful nature. Everything is nice, amazing, clean. Oh man, beautiful. Almost there, guys. I'm about to get to Jason's place and we're gonna start working that W124. But yeah, just take a look at this amazing view. Clean and 
Painted Looks red. so good, yeah. I, know, I like yeah, that. that. That's awesome. That trim Looks amazing. Came pretty good, yeah. Wow, you did a great job on that too. A couple of them mm -hmm. look pretty nice. The bumper, we'll yeah. Excited for the bumper for yeah, sure. It's See really good. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Leaving the chrome strips. Oh yeah, that's that awesome. Great. I love it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, the engine bay is like. I remember you sent me pictures. That looks so good. Oh yeah. Wow, it's like was crazy. Able to clean quite a bit. I yep. Mean, definitely makes a huge. No, difference. no, that's a huge difference for so sure. Some it's, of this stuff, like mm -hmm. I was not really cooperating. Yeah, I think it. some of it is actually corrosion. So, you, like, if you really want to get it cleaned up, you would have to probably take off the whole intake manifold and just kind of. Yeah. wire wheel it or sandblast it you know and then right. paint it but a lot of pieces. man that looks amazing honestly even just like how it looks it looks so good yeah, man it. what a big difference on this car amazing wow yep cool still stuff got, still got a number of things that i want to paint uh-huh uh-huh so did did it rain here at all or no uh, by chance a little bit yeah uh -huh. I think did I you notice any like uh, water leaks after that or not really no no and also because we okay. put a whole bunch of water on the car okay when okay in the car wash and that's really good it then it didn't come in anywhere i set up this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thing to help right you know, get some air down there on the driver floorboard. no that's good that's good yeah uh, it's probably gonna fill up the bucket and try cleaning a few pieces that's we'll good that. that's cool I'd like to fire up the vacuum again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do another little layer of vacuuming here and there. But All right. That's the good. No, it looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, everything cleaned up really nice, honestly. That's good. So, yeah, you would have to, I mean, see if you can reach that. Um, might need a, an extension or something, but... It's awesome. Be loosening it, uh, just try one. I think so. Yeah, I think you're already moving it, so keep going. Yep, keep going. It's working. I'm gonna open this puppy up, I gotta lube up the whole thing. There you go, keep going. I'm also helping it a little bit with by hand. awesome they're not really hard to work on just take some patience honestly like they're great they're great cars you know yeah, yep Legit. yep keep going show me a car that will have a uh you know possibility of opening the sunroof in case of emergency <laughs> there's no other car oh, these do? yeah that's what he's doing right now yeah, yeah. so so basically there's so you can open it electrically but we just want to open it manually right now that's what he's doing right now uh, just to, you know, because it hasn't been opened for a long time. So you definitely got to lube it up and all that. So yeah. just going to open it by hand first, manually. So, it's like wedged in between them too. so let's say, I mean, they, they did it. So in case if like your switch goes bad and you can't, op uh, or you can't close the sunroof, then you can go in there and just, you know, close it up with a socket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is your wind deflector right here, this piece. Uh -huh. So it's a little weak. There's usually springs. When it opens up, it has to stay up like this, oh. but the springs are just probably a little weak. They have rebuild kits for that. Yeah. Might need some lubrication, you know? Right. But yes, yeah, like all these tracks inside, like you lube them up. Uh -huh. Yeah, that. remember that transmission oil uh, trick I showed you? Yeah. So that's all, also good to do. Yeah. And then uh, what we can do, we can start jacking up the right rear so we can do that brake flush on it okay. as well. Got some stuff for Jason. Also got some stuff for you right here. So this is that little model right here. This oh, is no a way. Yep. Holy this is shit. a 500e. This is not a 300e, yeah. but this is the fat lady. Very, you know what I mean? Very close. Yep. Yeah, that is uh, awesome. Then I got Holy these shoot. fog lamp bulbs right there for you. Just oh, like I got three. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, That's so we can right. install them. Yeah. Those There's that work. one of the seat belts that got chewed up by the rat or whatever. Yes. Definitely. Now this piece right here, it's a little bit tired. All right. So like it's used. I mean, you can buy these brand new for like ten dollars, but I mean, it's you're still unseen 
install this goes onto like the distributor cap yeah you yeah. know and once installed you can't really like see you know much or what it looks With like so it, yeah. you know i think it's salvageable it's so we can add that to the car as well great yeah no that'd be yeah, perfect the seat belt as well that would yeah. be a huge help Into oh yeah so we're gonna yeah. install these bulbs in there Test them out in a little bit. And then let's do the other side. Yeah. Pop that off. Just line up those slots. <laughs> you did a great job cleaning this thing. That's awesome. Those brushes make a I know. huge help, and I went through m quite a bit of that purple power degree. Yeah, there. that works really good for sure. Yeah, I just kept spraying it and scrubbing. I yep. was probably on it for like four or five hours. Nice. Really. Now that makes a huge difference, it, honestly. I'm digging it. Yeah. It does, it's yeah. Nice. For it sure. A lot better. Really replace them in pairs but it's okay so let's let's get some sandpaper or actually i'll find some and I gotta clean this a little more a, uh, yep. a little bit cleaner like that you don't want to sand too much because you're just going to be taking off the material but mainly like that Clean up this corrosion on it, off of it. That looks so much better now. So it's crazy, I got this cleaned up, but camshaft seal is good, not leaking, but these parts are still original to this car. Good idea to replace this, but I mean, it's gonna be fine for now. Cleaned up the corrosion and all that, it's got a brand new cap. Okay, and uh, we're gonna install this guy on as well, so it can look a lot nicer this and uh what's really cool is you see all the numbers one five three six and all that and that way you can identify which spark plug wire goes where it's pretty nice yeah but like i said also this is installed there's another cover that's gonna go on top can't really see all this mess right here but yeah it's gonna be awesome all right now go up Going. There you go. Awesome. Go ahead. Let's break this loose. Not yet. So while I'm putting the the shiver cap and everything back on, Jason is actually jacking up the right rear of the car. We're gonna do the brake flush today on this amazing machine, and we're gonna start with the right rear wheel. And uh, yeah, we're still waiting on a bunch of parts to come in. Unfortunately, this is my last day. While I'm, you know, I, I don't think I'll be able to come back here again. But just want to show this car is coming along and. It's, it's almost ready to be back on the road. Just a couple more things left to it. Um, so much work has been done to this car. It's actually insane. So yeah, just really, really excited for this car and for Jason to be cruising this thing around. It's really amazing. There you go, slowly. It's gonna go, let's see. Okay. So you can try a trick, so can put this actually like that and you can like step carefully on step on it yep. mm -hmm. like that and you can do the rest too yep there you go there you go they probably haven't been off for a while that's why yeah i don't believe so man this spare tire looks or wheel looks really good it's crazy it's just like once you wash this thing, like the, the tire, the wheel itself, it's gonna be so nice. There you go. All right, and get a, a fresh spare on it and clean yeah. it up and in the mm -hmm, trunk. Mm -hmm. Really good. We can take the wheel off completely and we can at the same time check the rest of your like suspension and all that yeah. while here. That'd be great.
it doesn't look too bad i mean i've seen the worst these subframe bushings sometimes they like to crack right here i mean but these are obviously original from 91 the axle boots on this side still okay just a little tired but yeah there he goes could use a replacement in the future but it's not too bad brake pads are still somewhat maybe like i don't know 60 50 percent left okay yeah Better than right not too bad there's the rubber grommet we're gonna start bleeding here in a second okay. uh, it's a good idea to like clean all these channels out yeah. so you know all this when when it starts raining the water doesn't collect in there you know and yeah all that. it stays and so what I like to do is I, I'm this crazy, so I would like take a bunch of grease and I'll just, I'll obviously first I clean it uh -huh. here and then I'd like apply a bunch of grease like on this side right here, yeah. everywhere. So we'll never have a chance to try, try to start rusting or anything right. like that, you know, or fluid film. Yeah. But other than that, it looks pretty good. You know, obviously I can tell all these bushings are a little tired and probably original, never been changed, but you know these cars are so awesome that you know even with these bushings being this tired they're still gonna go and go for so many miles like it's insane but just something to consider in the future at some point you know changing them little by little this is all installed now you can connect these plug wires one by one untangle them usually start with six that then go with five this valve cover jason's going to take off this valve cover in the future too he's waiting on parts he's gonna redo the valve cover and he's gonna change the gasket too all right number five is right here like so so now i'm trying to make it really nice because in the end there's this Ignition wire holder that's going to go here, so I'm trying to align everything nicely. How it's going to look. So that way it's not going to be a mess like that. This is what it's going to look like later. All these wires aligned properly and nicely. Cool. Yeah, they look a little better. Nice. So we'll just go right over the top. You had taken apart the dash. Oh yeah, because I was changing the the heater core on that yeah, car. Yeah, and I seen a few of. Uh, yep, that's what you use. Yeah, so inside your dash, there's a bunch of uh, like HVAC and like climate control, like um, vacuum actuators. Right. So inside of them is the diaphragm. Uh, it's a rubber diaphragm and if it breaks then like sometimes you might not get like the air coming out of like your vents and all that stuff. Yeah. Definitely. So that's why whenever you do like a heater core, you take the dash out, you always check them and replace them, you know. Just There's that. also like a recirculation a vacuum um, uh, actuator. So if that goes bad, then usually like it's going to stay closed all the time or whatever, you know. Right. So th this stuff is really good for these all these cars. I'll show you. Yeah, um, yeah. You just need a, if you have that silicone hose, I'll, I'll use that too. Mm hmm man that looks so good with this thing wow another thing to watch out for is this wire just try to make sure that it's not rubbing against stuff so as you can see it's loose like this yeah. so a good idea would be to just find a, a couple spots and just zip tie it as of right now okay. you know so it's not like rubbing against all this stuff like that because eventually if it rubs through then you're gonna have a no start or whatever no so yeah but yeah you literally just connect it in there uh so this is a little too big probably okay. so see if you have like a smaller one or maybe like a it should come with uh smaller fittings like rubber fittings whatever so see if you have that i'll show you how to use that yeah We'll find it. So if you guys didn't see him opening the sunroof manually, 
inside of here there's 17 should be 17 millimeter yep uh this screw or not screw yeah like a plastic one and you just turn that and i will open it and close it the sunroof i have to reattach this piece but yeah it's pretty amazing engineering of these cars oh yeah sweet yeah that'll work yeah oh that will be perfect i think you can just straight attach it to the vacuum hose probably but yeah this vacuum or a jar valve is actually not holding so the diaphragm is broken on it yeah yeah it's definitely bad but it's just an emission thing yeah it's just for emissions honestly it's not a, it's not a huge deal and even like even if you you know if it's not working it's not gonna really cause much problems right yeah yeah i figured because the car was running oh yeah it's, it's fine honestly it's it's not important for this car right. actually some of these m103s does not they do not come with this uh valve so like the exhaust manifold will be actually like plain it's not going to okay. have this fitting this egr valve but I some see. of them they come with that so you'll notice that some of the m103s they will not have this uh secondary air injection uh valve either um this is going to be like an empty spot right here, basically. Mm -hmm. But the ones that come with that, they will have the CGR valve as well. But it's it's not a big deal. It's not really important. Okay. All right, we can start bleeding the brakes now. Great. Look at that. You see it's filling up the, the container. Isn't that something, huh? Yeah, so you take out as much as possible and then you fill it up with uh, fresh fluid. Mm -hmm. Breaks yourself. Right. When one of you think was the last time this brake fluid was changed? 20 years ago? Yeah. I Probably. Mean, before I touched it, it sat for definitely yeah. 20 years. And <laughs> yeah. It's I crazy. did not take the fluid out. All right. Now I'm going to refill it carefully. All right, now refill it with clean fluid. I'm gonna put the cap back on, start bleeding that side. Take a look at this. Might not be able to see anymore, but there was a bunch of junk coming out of this brake caliper. Keep bleeding it. As you can see, Brickler is pretty bad. So I'm gonna keep on bleeding it until we have uh, fresh, clean fluid. It's gonna take a while, but yeah. All right, guys. So Jason went to grab parts, and I'm actually bleeding the brakes right now. I'm still bleeding that wheel. Because, you know, think about it, the line goes from the front to the back and it's taking a while, but, you know, it's slowly getting bled. Uh, there's no more water intrusion in here. It's all cleaned up. So waiting on those parts, I'll show you the parts that Jason will bring. Um, yeah, this is all nice right now. Still quite a bit of work that needs to be done, but slowly this car is coming back to life. Super happy about to check the drains on uh, the sunroof drains and i'm gonna lube up, lube up all the tracks and all that I'm gonna install this door panel tonight as well yeah jason actually cleaned up painted some of these parts they look really nice he wanted to polish the car but uh you know it's a little dusty here so they will have to find another place for it to do but what an amazing car amazing machine i can't stop saying that so here's a quick tip if the fluid is not coming out anymore it's slow yeah try to open the bleeder some more if that still doesn't work then close the bleeder up with nine millimeter and then you're gonna go pump up the brake pedal all right once the bleeder is closed go ahead and pump up the brake pedal All right, so the fluid is coming out clean, basically. So we're almost done bleeding this wheel. Yeah, the filter and gasket. Nice, nice. Good. Is this 
a whole meter tubing i look looks like yeah so like uh, this, no this is the valve cover gasket that's the valve cover gasket yep yeah yeah, I don't know. I think it should be a little more than this. I mm. feel like a meter is a little longer than that. Yeah. Interesting. This is probably the... Yep. Oh, nice. Vacuum, Vacuum modulator. That's nice. Yeah, That's okay. cool. Nice and new. Yep. How hard is that to install? Uh, not too hard. Yeah. Just a couple of bolts. Okay. Is he easy enough? Here we go. Let's see what this blower nice. motor looks like. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. Could install that today. Absolutely. Yeah. Get some of those fresh painted pieces on. Yeah. Fresh parts, huh? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Brand Clean. new. Lean. Looks amazing. Majorly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Totally man. worth it. Absolutely. Amazing. That should be some very nice air going through oh, the Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Perfect. Now I'll probably bring this right over here. Actually. Oh yeah. Honestly, the honestly, fluid was really bad. Yeah. But yeah, just keep an eye on this hose. We'll probably need some sh new shocks in the future because it's, you know, it's been leaking a little. It's most likely original to the car. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, that's just minor stuff. Yeah, that's one of my uh, uh, bigger concerns. With oh, don't worry. I getting got you. It, getting it to drive good is the shocks. Yeah, yeah. It's actually super simple to change shocks on this car, whether it's front or rear. Really? It's like insanely easy. Yep. Okay, sweet. I see it on the... Gonna put this bearing grease just on the slip right here. Yep, yeah. Yep. If you want, you can use gloves. I got gloves over there. Actually, I got it there. Then it doesn't have to be a lot, but what this does is prevents corrosion here. Yeah. And the wheels from sticking on, but that's good enough now. Okay. But with two people, honestly, it's pretty easy to bleed the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. German tight. Yeah. Good and tight. <laughs> <laughs> so they say it. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Cool. Well, I think it's like what eighty foot pounds or something if you use a torque wrench. Yeah. It's like a usual like any like sedan, you know, any little car. Yeah. I'm pretty notorious. Doesn't have to be crazy, but something, you know, so the wheel doesn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> You got them loose? I forgot to give you this one. Oh yeah. It's in a lot better shape. Yeah, uh, this right. one goes for that to that panel, yeah. The driver's door, okay. Yeah, so. Beautiful. Yeah, that is it's gonna nice. look, uh, I mean, it's a little cracked, but a lot better than the old one. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we could put that on, we could get this. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get that panel on tonight. Yeah. You were able to glue that piece on, right? A I little was, bit? Or? And I okay, did sweet. A, some work on the other doors and yep. like put the clothes pins on them to try sweet. to like tuck it back under. I found this uh, adhesive yeah. that was like, really good it said it worked good for cork and leather yep yep which is like exactly nice good. nice so. awesome yeah we'll get it back on tonight yeah sweet yeah okay, let's see this fluid is nasty oh so, now you're just gonna Press it all the way to the floor and hold. Okay. Keep holding. All right, pump it. Still stiff. Okay, release. Release. Press all the way, hold. Pump. Look at that doggy. Uh, release. Press all the way, hold. Nice. All right, so hold it. Hold it. Yep, fluid is really nice and clean now. All right, pump. 
release, release. press all the way hold, hold. pump Okay. How is it? Good. Nice. Definitely strong. Good. All right, we can move on to front wheels. Okay. Cool. We want to put a little bearing grease on there. Yep, I already cleaned it so we can put some grease here. All right, cool. Let's get this wheel on. Got it? Side down. Yeah. There you go. I definitely would love to get some new uh, brake pads and rotors. You definitely need them, yeah. Yeah, do you think the rotors too? Yeah, because the back ones, like they have like a ridge too, oh, to yeah. them. Good idea to change all that. I think I found those like the Bosch Quiet Cast or something. Brake pads are usually cheap. They're like, you know, $20 for like rears and $20 for the front. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, well, I'm not gonna sell them, but I'm not gonna like. I'm gonna no, I mean you can you can keep the the wheels, but you know you can like put some different ones on if you want. You know for the taste, it's up yeah. to you. Like, but probably, those AMG ones or something, I don't know. I love the AMG. Don't yeah, they, it like makes this car look really good. Yeah. So someone had a great set of like the AMG like monoblock wheels, and they only wanted huh. like three hundred fifty bucks for them. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. yeah. Which would be. And yeah, sometimes them. you can find good deals on those wheels, like on Craigslist or whatever. Yeah. yeah. When I looked it up on Facebook, there was lots of them actually. Like mm -hmm. plenty of people yeah. selling, selling their used Especially vehicles. in California, you can find a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Honestly. Okay. I'm going to do this one. Go ahead and loosen the lug bolts. Man, this thing looks so clean. This blower motor. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Fresh parts. Yep. Always seat. love new parts. Oh yeah. Nice and clean. Just so the wheels off the ground enough. Yeah. Just like that. Blocks maybe a little Yeah. Safety. Gonna need the sway bar bushings. So you'll definitely need the shocks. When you get the shocks, you'll have to get that. There's uh, like a dust boot that they have. Oh, yes. You know, because you don't want to put new shocks without a dust boot. The oh. dust boot is easy to install. It just goes on the strut mount. Well, the strut mounts are also going to need to be changed because they're yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, then... You the spring is... The spring is uh, okay. The spring is actually like... There's nothing that ever happens to the springs. Mm -hmm. However, it's a good idea, you know, to remove the spring and change the lower control arm bushings too. Yeah. They're not too horrible, I've seen the worst, but you know, they're getting there, just, yeah. you know, cracked up right there. Yeah. Uh, tie rods, same thing, they will need to be actually probably done. See, the boot is torn on this one. Uh -huh. I mean, I would probably do the redo the whole like steering. It's it's not much, it's just a few tie rods. Um, and it won't it won't take too much, actually. It's it's not, I mean. Yeah. That's what we just did on my friend's car. Right nice, here. oh, nice, nice. Yeah, on both sides. Yeah, definitely the brakes, the brake orders are pretty bad. See that ridge right here that it has? It's uh, all yes. how it's worn out. That's okay though. Yeah, let's bleed this wheel. All right, you're gonna press all the way to the floor and hold. Ooh, that's nasty. Pump it. All right, release. Press all the way, hold. Release. Press all the way, hold. Pump. All right, release. Press all the way, hold. Hold it down. Pump it. Fluid is pretty clean now. All right, release. Hold, uh, put, uh, push all the way to the floor and hold. Pump.
How's the pedal? Okay. Stiff now. Okay. Stiff, I think so. It's okay. You'll you'll get it. Cool. Look at that clean brake fluid now. She. It's cool. It's this way. A little more. There you go. Hold on. And go back a little. All right. All right, go up. Cool. And don't forget to loosen those bolts. Oh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, but he just, he's a big baby. <laughs> he is. He just wants love in it. I know. I feel terrible for him. He will never feel the, what? the fine German mm. leather of this car. Oh, I know. I heard he's the too, story. He's yeah. too big. Yeah. He definitely is a yeah. big puppy. Too big, too messy. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. He likes this area a lot anyways, so. Yeah, yeah he's in his natural element. Yeah, he's like, it's a paradise for him. Press all the way to the floor and hold. Ooh, yeah. Pump. Release. Press all the way, hold. Oh man, it's nasty. Pump. Press all the way, hold. Pump. Release, press all the way, hold, pump, release, press all the way, hold, oh yeah, nice and clean, good, nice, that's it, all four wheels, all four wheels bled, got fresh brake fluid, it's really important maintenance item. I haven't been bled for a long time. Probably over 20 years. It's right here. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this. This strainer cleaned up. Install it. Here. Also, I like to take that purple power and the brush and try to. Yeah, I mean, this is not a huge deal, honestly, because this is like rubber. But yeah, yeah I mean, it's yeah. still a good idea, but yeah. as much as you can. Look at that. Fresh brake fluid. That's crazy. That is crazy. So much needed maintenance. to install this door panel. I'm just gonna change this piece of wood. We're about to hook up the battery. This is all back in. All right. Nice. Oil 
looks good. Oh, yep, yeah, well, yeah. good. Cool. One of the last things the car had a couple years ago was an oil change. Yeah. Fresh oil filter. So, yeah, we can go ahead and start this thing up. Door panel is back, looking good. Beautiful. Yeah. I can remove this piece for momentarily. Yeah, 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 you can. So. Do we want it started? Yeah, go for it. Amazing. <laughs> wow, what an amazing car. We did a, that, air, that air sensor piece for the... Yeah, don't lose it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it should be... Well, it's, uh, it's probably going to cause a check engine light, but it's, yeah, it doesn't matter. You, no I'll, I can show you always have to reset that. Clear. Yeah, I kind of remember that. Already it's on. That's okay. Nice. Brakes good. Sweet. Let's see if that oops. I guess this came off. <laughs> Might have to switch that out. Ah. Fog lamps are working? We, they are, but only on one side, the side with the headlight out. Okay. So it's not going to be on right here. Yep, something is up with this headlight for sure. Yeah. That's okay, we'll have to see that. Boys, it's not a huge deal. Okay. This one? Oh, oh yeah. that's the It's just for the no, it's for the emissions. Oh. Yeah, it's just oh, it's making that noise. Yeah, we'll have to see what's up with this one. Okay, well uh brakes are good and everything. See if oh yeah, it shouldn't do that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's check the blower. Look at that. Nice. Strong. Uh, yep. So that's one. I think that's the lower speed. I think there's a higher speed too. Uh, yep. That's the lower speed right now. Yeah, it's. It's okay. It's a little wobbly. I mean, it's probably aftermarket. That's why. I mean, it's not a huge deal. As long as it's properly mounted, yeah, it's, it's like gonna it. be okay. Yeah. We can we can double check it again, but it's doing fine. Blowing. Well, it's great at high speed. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's doing good. Yeah. Bottle, a little water over it to rinse it. Mm -hmm. Make it a lot cleaner. Start changing all these hoses, cracked up ones. See how bad this is. I've seen with the fabric ones, like they've never really like come out right, and they all yeah. like water stain. Yeah. Right. But Magic Eraser actually does a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you can try that out. Good. 
So you're just literally gonna pour it like right here. Yeah. And it should drain down that way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, not there, not yeah. there. <laughs> it's okay. Try to. Yeah, once you pour it, it should come out this way. It is coming out, but let's see. Keep going. Yeah, so that one is good. Okay. Can run some more water through it, just clean it some more, and then try the other side too. Ooh, all right, guys, we're almost done for today. Jason's gonna finish up the rest of it. There's still uh, quite a few things left to do. Fortunately, we don't have the multimeter or anything. I was gonna see why that right headlight, low beam and high beam and everything doesn't work. It's not the fuse, it's something else, but yeah, uh, it's okay. Slowly but surely, we did a lot of work. We're about to grease up the sunroof. He finished cleaning it. Uh, door panel is back, nice. Yeah, so it's gonna be an amazing car. Look at all that. It's a bunch of wires right there. Just chewed up. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's yeah. why your headlight is not working. That makes all the sense in the world now. Dang. I've been looking for that for two years. For two years, you said? <laughs> well, since I got that Oh, part. yeah, because this side never worked, right? Yeah, it hasn't worked ever, so I, I Look at that. It out. That would make... Yeah, I'm... I've literally been looking for like, okay, that, that's the problem for like two years. <laughs> it's one of the worst spots too. So, we'll just have to pull up on this harness. Boom. And kinda, uh, no, nah, that's, these coolant hoses, you might have to disconnect them for a minute. Yeah. Easy, and these two clamps, just disconnect them. Move these coolant hoses out of the way so you can reach those wires and reattach them. Uh -huh. uh, actually, let's see, there it goes. I believe I did pull out a white and black striped wire yeah. out from the other side. Right there. So, let's look at that. Oh man, there's a bunch of wires, oh yeah. Is it all one? Yeah, that, that's yeah. definitely, there's the same wire that goes right here. Yeah. Same colored ones. Okay. Yeah, because they they go to that fuse box and they go underneath. Yeah. So that's your problem. That's why a bunch of stuff is not working on this side. Uh -huh. But it's pretty easy. Just undo, undo this over voltage protection relay, couple of bolts, move it out of the way, move these coolant hoses out of the way. Mm -hmm. You know, because these coolant hoses just come up right here. Okay. That sucks for sure. That's okay. It's it's fixable. Yes, it I found is. the problem now. That is definitely the problem. So now I can put this stuff away. See, sometimes visual inspection is the key. Oh, yes. We can put this monitor unit back. Oh god, damn. it's okay. It's just this. Yeah. Um, holder clamp the plastic one yeah. the zip tie I'm surprised after all these years that these hoses are in amazing shape I know it's actually crazy. yeah they're like fresh yeah look at that they made like a little nest over there or something I don't know yeah definitely oh this is a mess yeah we got a whole those bunch wires. Shoo. dang <laughs> oh man they did not care <laughs> whatsoever no Oh man, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. Uh, you found a problem why your horn is not working in this light. So. Oh, well. Cuz these cars are so amazing that like the wiring itself doesn't just go bad or anything like that. It's just it's either someone shoots something or it's a bulb or a fuse, you know? It's usually the three things out of one. Um, well, yeah, you see you can so, Pull it a little bit this way. Doesn't that go all the way through though? Because I think the other... Man. 
So yeah, we definitely have to figure out how to undo this and just slide out the whole harness that way or something. Because it's going to be tough trying to repair it where it's at. Dang. So we're going to do it the other way, yeah. We're going to put it all back and we're actually going to cut it right there the second time. Some of the wires here are broken too. So we're going to cut it here, slide the whole thing out this way, do proper repairs on this. Jason will do it. And once he does repairs to that area, he will put it back through underneath. And then once it's like right here, he's going to do secondary repairs to this. He's going to do a proper soldering job because that's important. And now I'm just going to put it back, this fuse box and all that. And this portion is back. Jason's going to cut those wires there. And we're going to pull the whole thing through underneath of here. And then he will be able to have access to do the repairs to this. You got a cut there. Yeah, I'll just cut the plastic shield good. Okay, she's All free. Right. Hold on. Let's see. This is going to be a little tough here. Yeah. Look at all this craziness. Dang. Yeah, Shit. good luck repairing that while I was there. Oh, yeah. God Dude. damn. Dude. That's horrible. Sure. Let's just press on. Yeah. So, what is it? Here we are. And then we'll close it manually. I don't want to apply battery power anymore for now until you fix that harness. Right. Spread this grease in there. It's getting yeah. a little hydrophobic. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they don't design that for like all sunroofs. Hey man, back then they used to make amazing cars. I can't stop repeating myself, you know. And it's not just for these, it's actually for all the Benzes back then they had that. Uh, feature and on a lot of bmws from then um the motor would be actually in the front where your dome light is so if your electric like uh like switch would go bad you could actually like lower the panel and there's you could use an allen key to close the sunroof oh wow yeah and on these ones you just put um or you just use the 17 millimeter right there to do that All right, guys, so Jason's closing the sunroof manually. We're not gonna apply the battery power anymore as of right now. He's gonna come back here and uh, fix this harness properly and all that. And this car's almost back to life. Yeah, blower. Let's give out the sunroof thing. Now I know about that. Exactly yep. where all that's at. Um, She'll be back on the road soon. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll continue with more cleaning. Um, yep. Put Focus on, on that harness and yeah, send me some pictures, updates, and oh, or yeah. videos, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Can't wait to see this thing back on the road. Yes. Running, driving. Yep. Probably, probably end up having to deal with that wiring harness first. Probably it would be a good idea, you know, yeah. just so you have it out of the way and then you can start assembling the rest of the, the plastics. Yeah, it would be probably a smarter idea. Yeah. And then, um, this bag looks nice. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'll try to get uh, some tires. Yep, definitely. Yeah, that'd be excellent. It's okay. And I can, uh, I, I can do the pan and the filter and stuff mm -hmm. too, for the transmission yeah just text me whatever help you need i'll let you know yeah, totally i mean it's it's, it's easy to change all that it's the basic yeah just mm -hmm. drop the pan yeah the there's a filters right there. there's like three phillips screws the uh, hold the filter in and okay yeah. pretty simple actually yeah no problem yeah i've, I've done the transmission filter on a few cars so yeah just make sure you're pretty clean once you drop that pan you know clean the pan really good you know don't let the dust get in there oh, you know absolutely, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. a little stiff here but you just spray trans fluid on on the the hinges right there you know it's just gonna be not yeah there's okay. in there okay yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see this trevor 
Mm. Oh, he out. probably didn't see it, no? I found out <laughs> why, uh, my... <laughs> why this taillight wasn't, or headlight wasn't working, and his horn wasn't working either, so... <laughs> Seems to be the problem, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it probably has something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty bad. Jeez. So, yeah. gotta, uh, really bad. can redo that whole little stretch there and yeah. reattach it, send it back through. Yeah. And, um, 